Good morning, fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 20th, 2019. So my goodness, yesterday we ended up with a great big gap up and then the market just kind of stalled and went nowhere. I think what we're looking at here is a market that is just so unsure of itself. It is <clears throat> searching for clarity in some way, shape or form, looking to find a way, looking to find that path forward. I actually placed a picture in the morning blog this morning. And, and by the way, um, if you are interested in the morning blog or learning more about hit and run candlesticks and right way options, right below the link, uh, right below the title, I mean, of the video, there is a link that will take you right to the blog post. Please feel free to go there and pick up any information that, that you can and glean as much as you can from that blog post. But I placed a picture there this morning <clears throat> that um, has searchers looking through fog. And that's kind of what the market seems to be doing right now, is we're just trying to find our way, find the path in a very foggy, cloudy environment with just tons of uncertainty as to what lies ahead. So <clears throat> let's take a look at our technicals here in the market and see if we can figure out anything that's going on and um, if we take a look here that big gap up obviously leaves a big open gap behind that's always a concern big open gaps can oftentimes get filled but what we're looking at here is a market that's pressing up against some price resistance in the chart notice that we have resistance levels all over the place in here lots of price resistance right in here and we have that zone of resistance with those moving averages right in this area providing just a little bit of dour look here on the market currently we are still in in a downtrend on this market there's no questioning that that's where we are obviously we picked up a little bit of uh, love from this kind of a double bottom type situation but we need to be able to break through there and prove that we can hold uh, before we can really raise a whole lot of confidence here in the market and right now it's really hard for that market, I think, to find that confidence. First, we have uh, earnings season starting to wind down. We don't have a tremendous amount on the economic calendar this week to really move us around. We have the uncertainty of the trade war. We have the uncertainty of bond rates continuing to fluctuate. We have the uncertainty of what the FOMC might do in this um, coming meeting. So lots of things that the market is trying to deal with as we try to quantify all of these different issues and what it means for the pricing of the market. And you can see yesterday what, uh, what the market really uh, ended up doing yesterday. Here's a 15 minute chart of the Dow. After that gap up, we just largely sat on our hands yesterday, waiting for some clarity. Um, not much movement here in the market at all. And unfortunately, that has kind of translated to the same thing around the world. Um, Asian markets last night, uh, flat, boom, just really, really flat, mostly lower. European markets are also flat this morning. It's like the entire world is looking for that path. We're looking for the clarity to try and find our way forward here. So what does that mean for us? Well, it, it can mean actually a nice little rest in the market. We've had tremendous volatility in the market, and obviously that has created an awful lot of emotion here. Perhaps, I'm, I'm not suggesting this is going to occur. I'm not trying to predict this. What I'm, trying to, what I'm um, bringing up is perhaps we might just find a little bit of a rest and consolidation in here for a few days. Just everyone trying to catch their breath. And you can see we have a range right over here where that occurred on this last big rally up when the FOMC made that announcement that they were likely going to cut rates. That's what brought us out of the doldrums before. And uh, maybe we're just going to consolidate right here in this range and rest just a little bit spill off some of this volatility as we wait for a little bit of clarity in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY doing very much the same. Um, just kind of wandering here in the woods, um, trying to find that path and just consolidating sideways. We're just really moving nowhere 
right now. Volumes uh, were lighter than normal yesterday um, after that gap up open and um, certainly just kind of camping out here. Now, one thing that I want to point out about the SPY is that we're still below our 50 day moving average. We still have that zone of resistance up here in price, not only in price, but in those moving averages. And, um, we never, we never made it down here to the 200 day moving average, um, kind of floated out here in air. Now markets typically don't like to do that. So there is still that outside possibility. Um, and as much as I hate to even bring it up because nobody likes uh, somebody being bearish, but um, that pullback that could actually reach that 200 day certainly is still a, a possibility. Um, let's hope that doesn't occur, but that certainly is there. And we're going to have to deal with all this resistance. And it may be really, really difficult to deal with that re resistance with so much uncertainty in the market. And, and it really doesn't show, uh, there's really not too many places this week where we uh, maybe can find some clarity until maybe Friday when Jerome Powell speaks. Um, maybe he'll provide some clarity for the FOMC, but it's unlikely we'll know too much more about the trade war situation. Um, um, like, you know, until later this year, um, as we continue to wrangle over that. So let's take a look at um, the cues. Cues <clears throat> did a little bit better. It actually, was stronger yesterday than all the other other indexes. Apple, Google really moved up strongly yesterday, providing that little bit of lift. And one thing I will say about the cues, we actually have a higher low here where the, the Diamonds and Spy actually made a double bottom or even uh, strong test of those uh, last lows. We had a higher low here in the queues. So being a little bit stronger here um, actually makes some sense uh, technically in the chart. But we still have a lot of resistance that we have to deal with. And notice our moving averages right here challenging uh, the NASDAQ for uh, resistance. Who knows where we go from here. I do have that similar concern that I have on the SPY in that we never got down here to test this 200 day moving average. We kind of floated out here in midair uh, in that possibility. Um, if we do fail here of a test down here, certainly seems um, possible. I don't want to say that that's likely, but certainly that possibility does exist. We'll have to watch up here if we happen to get any kind of a failure here around the 50 day moving average that would really come into play. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, I, this poor thing is just plain sick. That's all there is to it. Sick, 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 sick. And as you can see, we're continuing in this downtrend here in IWM. We did hold this really important level of support. That is important, uh, for the market. But if you see by those two lines I drew, all we're really doing is creating this big giant price wedge and we're bouncing around in here. Right now, IWM is not a healthy index. Um, it's not finding much of any kind of love. Failing yesterday, right there near its 200 day moving average. Any follow through to the downside in here could certainly send us down through this level. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely if that occurs. We have a major zone of resistance up here on our moving averages and price which uh, it's just going to, you know, it's just simply going to require some clarity in the market for us to potentially break through there. And I just don't see that happening um, over the next couple of days. I could be wrong, but um, I don't see it on the horizon here for now that we're going to get that clarity. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX made a nice move down yesterday um, with that big gap up, but then just really went nowhere. Um, as the market, well, basically it just seems like after the big gap up yesterday, traders just sat on their hands, um, hid their mouse, um, avoided trading altogether. And the market just kind of slipped sideways all day long. So that fear did drop a little bit, but let's keep in mind, we're still holding above these levels of price support and holding above this downtrend. Any fear come back that comes back in the market could create that spike over there. And that's where I'd really be worried 
about um, a serious sell-off if that were to occur. So far, no signs of that yet. Let's take a look at T2122, which is a four-week new high, new low ratio. T2122, um, at early part of the day, we had spiked up right in here into this bearish reversal zone. But as you can see, it kind of kind of ebbed just a little bit yesterday and so what we have to recognize is we went from oversold to very very close to that overbought range in um just two short days and just in in big moves now that doesn't mean that we have to fall directly from here what it could mean like i suggested before is that the market could consolidate here could rest and that actually could pull T2122 back down into this area. But remember, we still have more upside room here. If the market finds inspiration, we can still move higher in the market to, uh, before we hit that bearish reversal zone. But a nice little resting consolidation could pull us back down here into normal. And I honestly think that would be pretty bullish for the market to get rid of some of this volatility and to calm things down and put in a price pattern that folks can trade off of. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely and see what happens. But T2122 not giving us really good directional choices right now. Um, just that um, we're getting close up here to that bearish reversal zone. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. There really isn't anything here to move us around unless we get some Fed speak that um, surprises us, and I wouldn't expect that. As you can see, no market moving events here today um, whatsoever. We have two Fed speakers speaking later on today. I would not expect that to move the market around at all. Of course, tomorrow has our best chance of really moving the market around with existing home sales and the release of the FOMC minutes. This uh, the release of the FOMC minutes could create another day of just very, very stagnant price action, choppy price action, all this uncertainty. Everyone's looking for clarity. The market's looking for that path. It just, right now, it's pretty tough to see. So we could see another day of just really light, nasty, choppy price action. It's boring. But, you know, it could help us a lot if, if, for example, looking at the diamonds here, if we were to settle down and, and rest here for a week, uh, two weeks even, um, rest in this area, that actually gives us a pattern to trade from. Either that pop up that gives us uh, that bullish look or that breakdown that would make things or turn things bearish in the market. And right now, any rest... Anything that spills off some of this wild volatility could be a good thing for the market. Although, I will admit, it's likely it could be very, very boring during that period of time. Not much happening if that does occur. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you would do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can make sure and be noti uh, notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, my purpose in these videos is to not predict the market, but to point out the things that could affect the market for the day and help um, uh, folks prepare for their day. And I can tell you in my 15 year career as a full-time trader, um, this has been, um, extremely important for me. And I just happen to record it and share it with you. If you find this useful, please do me a favor, click that, um, thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment even the briefest of comments uh, happy face um, helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks so i i truly appreciate that also please feel free to share these videos with any friends and family to to help us grow the channel um, if you feel it's worthy, share it out there on YouTube and, or Facebook or wherever, um, because a lot of folks, um, you will touch folks that I, that I don't reach. And so that helps expand, uh, this idea, removing the hype or removing all of the, the blustering that you get from a lot of, uh, folks out there in, in social media. I just want to put out the straight basic information that helps you really assess where you are for the day, looking at those technicals and I hope you find that useful and helpful. Thank you to those who leave comments. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it.
So with that, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up trades that I've been watching pretty closely and trades that I'm going to point out that I've shown you before um, that are um, just actually holding in there pretty well um, and could be setting up good trades. Now, one of those is CMG. Now, CMG, obviously very expensive, uh, may not be in the wheelhouse for a lot of folks, but CMG has been, just been holding up extremely well um, in this trend. Little back and forth, little sideways moves, but CMG overall holding a good basic trend and um, showing those signs where we we could break and and move on higher here so keep an eye on cmg um starbucks i've been mentioning this one for a while starbucks tried to make that move yesterday has been holding on to this trend looking pretty good and what's important i think in this chart is to see see that this except for consolidation has really had no major reaction to the downside move in the market so it just kind of hung out here no one wanted to sell this stock and that's important to me if um, we finally get some move back higher that uh, starbucks holding up quite well take a look at walmart now walmart had a big big earnings report um, did well and is dealing going to have to deal with this resistance level up here but i think walmart holding this uh, bigger upper trend after recovering it needs to prove that it can hold up here possibly a consolidation maybe a little resting pullback but i want to wait and watch for that next potential entry into walmart walmart should be on a watch list and, and just like all of the stocks that i show in these videos they're not a recommendation to buy or sell anything it's something you want to be paying attention to the price patterns maybe putting them on a watch list waiting for that next potential trade to show itself but walmart holding up really really well overall um, in the market and that's pretty common um, when we look at this consumer defensive sector right now, if you look at that consumer defensive sector, um, I mentioned Hershey yesterday as a possible and Hershey moving on up, um, looking good. Uh, any of those defensive sector companies did quite well yesterday. Coca-Cola moving on higher yesterday, looking good. So I would keep an eye on some of those uh, type of stocks. Um, Tyson could be setting up for a potential trade. Nice little consolidating move here. Not a whole lot of reaction to this market um, downside. And this is a massive breakout here on Tyson. Holding up in here and consolidating this move could be setting itself up for some more upside. So you might want to keep an eye on Tyson. <clears throat> what we're waiting for... Um, on some stocks as additional failures to look for potential short trades. One of those that I'm keeping an eye on for a potential failure right now is Facebook. Facebook failed here at the, its 50 day moving average, now rallying back up toward resistance. Didn't really put in a confident move there yesterday. I would be watching for some kind of a follow through failure. I don't know if it'll be today, tomorrow, uh, next week. I, I'm not trying to predict that. But at any kind of a failure in here, I would be looking at this for that potential uh, move on down toward that 200 day moving average here. So I'd be watching Facebook for those kind of moves. Um, there's quite a few of these kind of stocks that just need that failure pattern to occur. So I'm not going to uh, go through a bunch of those, but um, watch for those that could be failing beneath resistance levels uh, for those trades. Another one could be Lulu. Lulu um, clearly failed, and this was one I mentioned a week ago as a potential short. That certainly worked out nicely moving down, and now we've made this little light rally back up, and we're starting to show stress here already um, in Lulu. There's that downtrend. Any follow through here would suggest a lower low 
uh, could be coming um, in in Lulu. So watch that one closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all great day in your trading. I want to wish you good profits. If this is your first time of seeing these videos, just make sure and click that subscribe button. And please, for everyone who has watched these videos before, if you feel the video is worthy, make sure to uh, click that thumbs up and leave a brief comment. You guys are awesome. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care now.